Well, hello again sports fans. This is the latest FPV flight of my Texumo. It's been a while since I've had it up. The weather's been pretty crappy. And the purpose of this flight is to test out my new RSSI ProTrack antenna tracker. I bought it a couple of months ago, but uh, I've only tried it a couple of times and not at any real distance. So it's a beautiful sunny day and not much wind. But there is a bit of an odd cloud pattern in the sky. I haven't quite seen that spotty look before, so I'm not quite sure what's causing that. But we will see. So the launch goes um, pretty well. And I take it up and just do a quick check of the autopilot functions and return to home. And uh, head off towards the northeast to uh, see how far I can get. The line of hills you can see are just over 400 metres, so I'm going to have to um, get up to at least that height. So I have the uh, Texumo in stabilised mode, and I'm just toodling along with a uh, low current draw down underneath 10 amps. So this is the uh, on-screen display I'm looking at. As you can see, the current's up the top left-hand corner, the speed's on the left, the altitude's on the right, and I'm about a kilometre from home at about 300 metres, and as I said, heading for uh, at least four, probably five. So we're just past three kilometres here and up at 450 metres which will hopefully be enough to get across the hills. The video so far has been uh, perfect, the uh, antenna tracker seems to be tracking, I'm doing a little bit of weaving from side to side and the tracker is following it perfectly. So everything seems to be uh, pretty good at this stage. So we're just past four kilometres and we're up at uh, about just over 500 metres and the video is starting to get a little bit scratchy so I start doing a little bit of adjustment of the vertical elevation of the ProTrack array and it clearly it's having an impact and uh, while I'm doing this, I'm just letting the uh, stabiliser control the Texumo and it's been trimmed so that it goes into a uh, little bit of a right hand bank when it's hands off, so it does a bit of a circle rather than uh, running off into the distance. So I seem to be right over the top of uh, a high ridge and it seems to be quite difficult to lock onto a solid picture. But persistence pays off and I eventually seem to get it right and can uh, carry on. So I'm just passing the five kilometres mark. I've increased the altitude to 600 metres, hoping that will give me a little bit of improvement over the top of the ridge, but I do start to get some significant uh, dropouts. So I start 
messing around with the uh, vertical alignment of the probe track antenna array and things uh, eventually seem to improve to the point where I'm uh, able to continue on. I'm just uh, turning to bring the Texemo back on that north easterly course. So at this point I start to lose the signal again and I back to the uh, antenna array to adjust the elevation. The Texemo starts to uh, bank again as I, uh, my attention is taken up by the antenna. And then I uh, lose the signal completely and the probe rack goes into a, uh, a 360 degree scan so obviously I can't see what's going on while this happens I'm eagerly watching the antenna and hoping it, that the signal comes back when it's pointing northeast and it does so that's got to be a good thing but uh, I pity it lost it in the first place So I'm still messing with the uh, elevation, trying to improve the, uh, the picture. And the Texemo is still uh, circling. And eventually it, the signal improves to the point where I'm uh, confident about going on. So I, uh, bring the Texemo back onto the northeasterly course and carry on again. So we're just coming up on the six kilometre mark and the picture is reasonably clear. I can see uh, where I am and I decide to uh, turn north to stay over the uninhabited area and there's a, uh, a solar farm installation just uh, in the middle of the screen in the uh, on the ground there that you can see that I think maybe I'll go and have a look at that but on reflection I uh, have a look at the battery voltage and it's uh, starting to get down fairly low so I decide I'll flick the return to home switch and uh, save that for another day. And as I turn I lose the signal completely and uh, the protract goes into another 360 degree scan. So I'm blind while I wait for that to there's that odd looking sky again, that uh, spotty stuff, but, uh, as I said I haven't seen it before, it suggests wind, but of course I can't see it on the video. So the scan completes and the ProTrack does manage to recapture the signal, and it seems to be a pretty good picture, so I think that's good, I'll just sit back and uh, wait for it to appear over the horizon but it doesn't get too far before the signal starts to uh, break down again with various glitches and I start to uh, mess around with the antenna alignment and that seems to help uh, for a little while.
So at this point the signal starts to break up quite badly and uh, I'm not able to uh, recapture it with the uh, changes to the elevation and eventually the signal is completely lost and the protract goes into another 360 degree scan. While I couldn't see it at the time, it's clear from the onboard video that the uh, the nose of the Texumo is up and you can hear the prop cavitating on the soundtrack. So she's clearly in a uh, stall at this point in time. I'm guessing that it's uh, encountered a strong headwind and the, the autopilot's doing its best to keep the wings level and uh, maintain uh, constant altitude which it does pretty well. Uh, I finally get some video back and realise what's happening and uh, immediately increase the throttle, hoping that will um, take it out of the stall. But it doesn't. In fact, it seems to make the oscillations even worse. All you can see on the uh, screen is uh, sky. I can see from the on-screen display that there's bugger all uh, forward speed but uh, it's maintaining its altitude so uh, the old Texumo must be just about standing on its tail at this point I think. So at this point I realised that the return to home mode isn't going to be able to uh, get the Texumo out of the stall and bring it home and the best thing to do is to put it back in stabilised mode and see if it can level itself once it doesn't have to worry about maintaining altitude. So flicking it into uh, stabilised mode uh, sorts the problem out pretty well straight away. The wings level out and I start feeding in some down elevator to uh, hopefully get me down out of the wind which I think is what's caused this problem in the first place. So I'm past the uh, hills and um, I can I bring it down to under 400 metres and hopefully there's less than me. Uh, so the video also stabilises, it's rock solid again and it stays rock solid for the uh, rest of the flight home. So uh, that was all good. So there was still virtually no wind down at ground level, so the landing was pretty much a doddle, which was exactly what I needed after that flight. I'd had enough excitement. Well, given that I made it out to six and a half kilometres and back in one piece, I'd have to put this down as a successful flight. I am a bit disappointed in the amount of vertical adjustment I had to make on the protract to keep the uh, video solid. But it may just be that the terrain I'm flying over is just too challenging. The protract does have a number of uh, user configurable parameters so it may be possible to tweak it to better suit my conditions. Hopefully I'll be able to have a chat with the uh, designer and uh, he might be able to help me with that. I'm also intrigued by what caused that stall on the way home. It's uh, never happened before and uh, I can only really put it down to wind so I'll be keeping my eye out for a similar looking skies in the future. <laughs>